Hi guys, so a few weeks ago I made a video for you where I decluttered my backyard. I had been putting this off for so long, coming up with as many excuses and being downright lazy for way too long. And the area was really unloved and massively neglected. Anyway, fortunately, due to a council cleanup, um, this really like made me pull my finger out and clean the area up. And it was amazing because I'd been putting it off and making it a bigger job in my head than what I realized. But once I finally did it, wow, I felt amazing. Anyway, I made this video for you, but something really cool happened the next day um, from doing this um, decluttering, minimizing, um, culling experience. And I really wanted to share it with you. So the next day when I woke up, I looked at my backyard and it just looked so refreshing and reinvigorating and re-energizing seeing the space freed up seeing all the stuff um, just gone and seeing only the things that i absolutely love and think are beautiful and value remaining in that place like standing alone and you know with space around it available to shine really inspire me to want to keep going it kind of set like a, a a foundation or a, um, a benchmark for me to you know to let this energy flow through the rest of my house anyway a few minutes after like going through uh, looking at my backyard and admiring it and reconnecting with the space and falling in love with it again I found myself scrubbing pots and pans you know dirty burnt pans that I was bringing back to life again and it just was euphoric and I started to progress through the house. I found things that I realized I'd been looking at blankly, thinking you're never even questioning it. But when I actually picked it up and touched it and asked myself, how does this make me feel? Do I love it? Do I use it? Do I love values and appreciate it? My mantra, it became really clear as to what, there was so much more I could actually get rid of. And the deeper I went with this, um, the more I found to get rid of. As I, you know, it was like peeling back the layers of an onion, the more I got rid of organically, the next thing to look at just appeared. And, you know, previously when I looked at my home, I was always like, oh no, I've already done a curl. There's nothing more left to, no more work required, nothing left to get rid of, you know, I'm down to the bare minimum. Um, I was very wrong. As I did this, there was more to get rid of. There was more to cull, there was more to let go of. And each time I did that, I was re-injected with new energy, new levels of inspiration, new levels or senses of clarity and direction. And it was incredibly powerful. And as I started to go through, I also started to you know, reorganize the space. And as I went through the space, I started to put things back with a sense of intention, um, purpose, and efficiency so you know I grouped together you know all the cleaning products and put them in one um, uh, neat bucket so that when I'm cleaning my home I've got all my products ready to go in an easily accessible place I also would neatly put them back in there so visually it looked nice um, Rocco's books were sprawled across the house in different piles and I decided they were you know creating clutter and uh, space on the floor and collecting dirt and um, I decided to pick it all up, took them all up to his bedroom, and then neatly stacked them together, you know, from the shortest, smallest book up to the biggest book, and neatly put them into a tray. So visually, it looks really appealing, and you feel more inspired to go and grab a book from a beautifully displayed, um, I guess, mini library within his bedroom. I also went through my laundry and looked at what cleaning products I really actually used and were really helpful, and which ones were just, you know, like things that I bought that I didn't really need and weren't really appropriate and, and made a point of what products I needed to use up and, and let go of and purposely not buy again and stitch the ones that actually were really um, helpful and efficient in getting my laundry done. I even managed to go back through my makeup collection and bathroom and find more things that I could get rid of, rid of. and it wasn't actually that long ago that I really tried to minimize my makeup and in doing that just seeing the clean space in between the makeup and underneath it was just so refreshing and it looks even more appealing than what I had thought I had done a great job before. It's made me realize you can actually go so much deeper with a decluttering, um, I guess, journey or adventure or mission even. And I even went through my freezer and looked at foods that um, had been sitting there for ages that I wasn't going to eat, Rocco wasn't going to eat, Tom wasn't going to eat, and I simply let them go. 
and I really looked at reorganizing the freezer so that all you know things like ice creams were together, fr um, frozen fruit and vegetables were together, or, um, organized like preset um, meals were like neatly stacked in their Tupperware containers. I created a sense of I guess order and efficiency, and it felt fantastic. And as I was doing this, I did something that Murray Kondo really recommends. I held a space in my head as to what I wanted my home to look at. This year, I really want to slow down. Um, I find myself like rushing and racing from one thing to the next. And whilst I still want to get a lot of things done, I want to start looking at doing things more efficiently and managing my time better. So I really created a sense of, you know, space in my home, a sense of simplicity, a sense of clean surfaces, um, I guess cleanliness, tidiness, a sense of tranquility and calmness. And I just continuously held that sense of space in my head as I went through the process. And it really helped give me something to work towards. And I could see as I was progressing through, I was actually getting closer and closer to that. And since doing this, I have found huge benefits from this. I have found that I am procrastinating a lot less. I am finding that I have a greater sense of calmness within myself. I feel more organized and a lot more on top of things. And I've also noticed that I'm not running as late as I sometimes am um, to certain events or meetings or catching up with friends, which was really starting to affect my sense of self-worth because I'd always beat myself up for, for being late. So at the end of the day, whilst I felt like initially I was going to lose a weekend and missing out on going to the beach and enjoying the sun and um, a great swim in the ocean, I didn't lose a weekend at all. I actually gained so much more. I got time back. I got a sense of my own um, self-awareness back. I got a sense of gratitude towards my home, the space, and I got that feeling of being home proud or house proud again. So if you are thinking about um, minimizing your home, minimizing your stuff and things that are weighing you down, all that clutter and things that just irritate us deep down below the surface, I completely encourage you and recommend highly that you do you set aside some of your spare time on the weekend and do this. Have a go. And just when you think you've done enough, dare and dream to keep going. Go that one level deeper because you never know what incredible blessings and gratitude will come from doing this. And every time you get rid of something, make sure you show a sense of appreciation and gratitude for what you're doing and the space that you are freeing up for new things to come. So now that I have a fresh space in my backyard, it's looking quite bare, but I'm actually loving it. I am now really taking the time to think about what I want to put back in there, how I want to redecorate, what is going to work for both me and Rocco and Tom and entertaining our family and friends in our home. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because a fresh home tour video is coming in a couple of months. I just need to calmly like think and plan about what I'm going to allow back into my home. Because remember, the whole purpose of decluttering and minimizing is not to just clear things out to let new things come in, but to only let new things come in, you know, with great intention, connection and consideration and control. So do take that in consideration when you're doing this um, minimizing decluttering experience. Okay, so everyone, don't forget you can also follow me on Instagram at sugarmamatv. You can also like me on Facebook and see what blog posts and videos I'm also sharing. And in the meantime, I'm wishing you a fantastic weekend, which I hope is very productive in your minimalism journey. Ciao for now. Hi! 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs>